kings, queens, peasants, what's happening? <laughs> I really said peasants. Peasants? Peasants. <laughs> That's so bad. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Gingy. Don't judge me. I'm just playing, y'all. You know, don't take stuff to heart. You guys, I got to share something with you guys real quick. I'm in the Word, and I'm meditating. And I'm at uh, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. And you know this scripture talks about do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And I remember you guys have heard the scripture. And when you think about that scripture, you would think about relationships, you know. Make sure you don't marry anybody that doesn't believe, you know. And that's what I used to think. But as I'm sitting there and I'm meditating on this scripture, God really spoke to me and was like, no, it's not just, you know, relationships. It's friendships. It's talking about your friendships. And this really, I had to, like, God really had me go deeper in the fact of, took me to Matthew 11, verse 30. It says, and this is Jesus, he's speaking to us, and he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And as I'm sitting there and I'm meditating, <laughs> being all extra, I'm like, okay, for your, your yoke is easy and your burden is light. And I'm like, yes, okay, your yoke is easy. Thank you, God, that your yoke is easy. Wait. Holy Spirit, what's yoke? Like, I really just stopped. And I was like, what's yoke? I used to think that he was talking about a yoke. I didn't know what yoke meant. So the Holy Spirit had me Google, what is yoke? So I looked up what the definition of yoke was. And yoke is literally um, back in the day, and they still do, with the cattle. They would put a contraption on them, which is a yoke, called a yoke, that would steer them and guide them and cattle are very stubborn so the way that they would get the cattle to guide and to do what they were called to do is they would jerk the yoke very hard to get them where they needed to go it would jack up the you know the cattle's neck and he says right here for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and so even that right there is a whole nother teaching that God is leading you that he's guiding you that it's not gonna be as as hard as any other yoke but when we take it back to second corinthians 6 14 when it says that do not be unequally yoked so even in that sense you can be unequally yoked meaning that everybody is yoked by something someone some spirit and either you yoke by the spirit of the living god jesus christ by the holy spirit are you yoked by some type of something else <laughs> that's guiding you? Some type of other spirit that is not God. So you can be, it's a do not be unequally yoked. Meaning that we need to be equal if we're allowing Jesus Christ to yoke us and to lead us, to guide us, to steer us in our purpose, in our destiny. We need to make sure that we have friends that are on the same quest in their relationship with God. Literally, you, you see two cattle, you would see the yoke when you think of a farmer and they're yoked. It's two cattle and they're equally yoked going on the same purpose. You can't have two separate yokes trying to hang out together. It's like, no, I'm over here. You got one master farmer leading them this way and the other this way and y'all trying to stay together. It ain't going to work, homie. <laughs> like it ain't. But this really ministered to me, guys, and I had to share it with you guys to have you examine your friends. Are you equally yoked with your friends? And you're like, yeah, we equally yoked. We shoot. We chilling. They, you know, we laughing and shooting the breeze and all this other stuff. But I'm talking about in the sense of, do you have friends that you can call upon that will pray for you at a drop of a dime? Do you have friends that you can talk freely about your relationship with God and know they ain't going to look at you funny? How many friends do you have right now that even if you're going through something, I'm telling you guys, this is true. I know this is true because I've experienced it because I have equally yoked queens, my friends, that I can honestly say that I am equally yoked with. That if I am going through something, I don't even have to text them. I'll get a text message, I'll get a, talk, a call of them starting to pray for me or intercede for me or a text of something that I'm going through. So yoked, equally yoked in the spirit that they hear from the same God, Jesus Christ, that they're sending me text messages and I'm like, God, but God, that ain't nothing but God. 
How many friends do you have like that? How many friends can you shoot a text message and say, pray, and they're on it? They don't ask no questions. They go straight in. How many friends do you know that their prayers shake mountains and move mountains? How many friends can call on you to shake and move mountains and to pray? And you really know how to pray. You know that God is leading you. That is something that you really need to examine. When it says, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future, that's real. I have a lot of, you know, people that will reach out to me and they're like, you know, I really want to get into my relationship with God. I'm, I'm trying to press in and it's so hard for me. Okay, cool. I ask them, show me your friends. What are your friends striving for? What are you, what, who, who is yoked up your friends? What is leading your friends? What is guiding your friends? Is it God? Is it the word of God? Where are they hungry for the word of God? Are they hungry for the same thing that you're hungry for to the point that you're reaching out to me because you need prayer and you want to get deeper into your relationship with God? That is what you need to shift and you need to change. Do not be unequally yoked with non-believers. In the, say, in the sense of, and I'm not saying not being friends with them. I'm saying, meaning, don't touch and agree. Don't be led. Don't be guiding. Don't be going the same way that the unbeliever is going. If you see that you're doing everything with the, your non-believer because they yoked up, then that means you ain't, you're not yoked up by God. God is not guiding you. Something else is guiding you and has you totally blinded to see what is really guiding you. So I encourage you this day, examine your friends, do some shifting, some observing, humbling yourself, because that's the first step that you need to do. And you need to get some friends that can pray, that can shake some mountains. <laughs> I love you guys. Go forth, be prosperous. Have an amazing day.